hi everyone so from the previous section let's continue so in this video we are going to create a mvc pattern where we will have a routes we will have a controllers controllers will talk to our services and will fetch the data so this whole playlist i'm just building around it and then we will just create a multiple entities like user comments blog post and all these things and we will try to see how type orm is helping us to create a relationship among all these uh, different entities or models like one to one one to many many to many or many to one so we'll talk about that use case in the early phase we are just trying to create a skeleton trying to create a database connections all the different uh, libraries which we need we are just trying to add it so in the previous video we have done the integration with the docker and now we are running the docker containers so now so this is our routes if you just start from here app.js index.ts api routes and here it is pointing to user so we are focusing on uh, user routes there are two routes in user so router.get so whenever you hit router.get we have a list all and add new simple operations just for initial purpose now we have to create a controller in our project so i will just create a user controller app we can create a so already a folder is there so controllers let's keep it controllers there will be many controllers we will be adding okay user controllers dot ts now what we do in the user controller is we will just we would be able to serve all the request which are coming from the routes so we will just import request uh, response from express now we can we can be using some service like let's call it as a user service for now and we will create a user service and we are getting user service from there will be a service folder So user service we will create in another folder so here we can create a service also we can call it a services because there will be many services okay we will link our controller with the services so we can just create a class user controller and we will just export it in the bottom we can just export the user controller using export default or named export user controller now we can define all the methods which we want methods which are like list all add new get update user get user login register and all these methods so we are just creating public static method static list all this method should be able to list all the users it is taking two argument request is of type request which is coming from express response is of type response okay and what we will be doing here is we will be just calling our service which we have already created so we might be creating the instance of service here const service equal to new user service that is still due how the service will work so but what we will do is type orm suggest provides the async await utility but we will just call this method from that service and once we get the user we got the data so we just play around with this data and we will be able to say if we got the user or user dot length is greater than 0 that means we received the data so what we can do is a response dot json we can write a create a custom response template okay response dot status 200 with the data and in the json we can just pass the users there are just typos i will just fix them and we are using tslint so it will enforce us some particular stylings so this data is of implicit type any so we you will get the type of the data it will be an array of entities okay otherwise what we will do is we will catch the error if something wrong happened with the database and all 
and here we will be doing next because we are not handling the error here we will just throw ex service exception new error and we will just throw error of error or we will create our custom error in the next session and it will be of we will also get a next of type I think it should be a next function it should be a part of express I think let me just check yeah next function yeah so we are just doing a next and uh, here this is of type error let's put it this way so while writing the typescript code you have to take care of all these things now we just create we will be creating service and in that service we will be just writing this method get similarly we can do all these uh, different different methods we have like list all uh, get one user so we just need to change the method get one user and now we will be getting the single user so if data is not undefined then we will just do this otherwise we will just handle the else scenario else scenario will be nothing but in the response dot json you can just say so some template or user not found or something so we will just create some custom template where we will see user data not found here also in the else block what you can see response dot status I mean it depends on you, you want to just send a 4 of 4 of uh, 4 like user not found or you just send a 200 status code with just saying that list is empty ok this is the data object you will be passing like uh, data is empty message something message and like this so you can standardize this response template format we will be just using it I will be adding that in the next video where you can just take care of all the what status code you wanted to send what message you wanted to send because that will be helpful for someone who is just reading it or you can also create your new exception service exception, bad request exception uh, internal server exception we can create our custom exceptions custom ex exceptions can be written like uh, we can do inside our link folder custom errors are there right already we have created three exceptions so we can import them here in our user controller we can just import them and we can start using it so server exceptions like this we just come from user info and we can just throw new service exception okay here also depends on bad request exception internal server exception and this next will be handled by the middleware so we'll be writing one middleware here i will just create a folder for middleware so we will be throwing all different kind of errors some database errors some uh, database constraint issues, some bad request exceptions, some internal server exception. So all these kind of exceptions our express server should be able to handle. We should not be getting unhandled rejections. I mean we are writing some code and nobody is actually listening to those exceptions which we are which we are generating. So we can create an error middleware. So I will just create a middleware and uh, it will be error handler error handler dot ts and this error handler we have to register on our component so we have app dot ts here we will be just registering our error handler app dot use this error handler will come later uh, in the last because here we just import the middleware we don't have currently anything in the middleware but we will be writing it from where we are getting it from middleware and this is error handler so inside error handler we are calling this method handle request error so in this middleware what we are doing is we are just handling a request error so uh, like whenever we are getting any error from the express routes what we are doing we are calling next and error function right so we will just uh, check one particular request okay what kind of error we are getting and based on that we will be respond on that okay so what my middleware will be having simple code we can just think of we will keep adding the more error codes I will just write the basic code here okay this is my middleware and uh, 
instance of not found exceptions and all we'll create these classes not found status code will be like 200 so we can import all these things from other external libraries so we should be having config lib custom errors code should be there so we have to create error codes like not found exception okay if not found exception if you are throwing not found exception from your routes then we are handling it here similarly you can just create another switch cases if you are getting internal server error i'll just type one of them so we already have the exceptions created somewhere server exception let's see if we are getting server exception then obviously we will be sending in the 500 right so this will be internal server error and state success is false not found status message and not found status code so we can use some custom pre-built libraries to get these http status code and http status message so we will integrate it in the next video and we will try to make it more structured that okay for not found this is the status code this is the standard status message for the internal server error this is the status code this is the message for bad request this is the status code and this is the message okay so next video we will just refactor this middleware and we will clean this up